comes to polite, patriotic Canadians, we're not making a racket just to make a racket. We're making a racket where someone goes, "What are you? T what are you doing this for?" Yeah. You can actually answer. So, um, so to the if you'd like, to the best of your ability, to the best of your interest, and well, your first name or, or a pseudonym, whatever you whatever you want. Oh uh, yeah. So like, I don't know. There's a, there's quite a few reasons that a lot of the people here would be protesting for um, how. The government is giving so much money to vaccine research that uses aborted babies as their test subjects and for anything from that to uh, people wanting to go back to work and provide for their family it's a god-given right to provide for your family and we need to be able to do that so it's it's just not it's not morally right for them to shut us down and and not let us make some money so. gotcha gotcha how about you young lady <laughs> no, no. No. Basically, what he said, yeah, just they've taken away our God given rights to really do anything. So, we need to get back to work and we need to fight for the rights of the unborn. Awesome. And we, and we need to fight for the rights of the people who maybe can't work and also can't get out here to protest, too. Like, yeah. the people we're standing up for in Canada that we're fighting for right now. So, I'm with you. I'm with you. You guys want to share an email? I'm, I'm in touch with people to win the offline info war as well. So would you like to share an email address? I can I can shoot you a note on what we're up to. Because this is great, but I think if we reach out to more people out there as well, we can make a positive impact to saying, no, we're not crazy. We're not what you see on TV yeah. and so on. So. Okay, sure. Yeah, yeah. do you have somewhere I can write it down? Yeah, i got this little notebook and people are just scratching down uh, just a first name and an email and there's okay. a little pen in that, in that corner there, a marker. And um, yeah, man. And then, um, and if you're interested, fine. If not, I'm a polite patriot. I don't like bothering people. The most important thing is to not bother each other, respect each other, and respect where each other is. Like, what, no matter what you believe about this, you, 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 you respect each other, polite and brief Canadians. And so, but I think that if we show that we can get along better, we're not crazy, we're not this, we're not yahoos, yeah. and we can show other people out there how well we get along, they can go, what's your secret? Yeah. It's like, well, not believing in lies, not buying BS, yeah. thinking for ourselves, helping other people being polite, compassionate, patriotic Canadians. Yeah. And they can go, you know what? I like your, I like the cut of your jib or your jib or your giblet. And, I, and, and, and that can be a source of inspiration. Okay. And my colleagues and I actually did this. We, we beat swine flu back in 2009, um, where we were on the streets at Young and Dundas, as we called Toronto Truth Seekers. And we were just polite patriots. We had a table. We also did posters and flyers. And as people were walking by, we ignored people who ignored us. We, uh, we, we said hi to people who said hi to us. If people just wanted to take something and go, we gave them a tiny little piece of paper with some information on it, like you might be a nice couple shopping. They're like, well, I'm interested, but I don't want to get into anything. Here you go, bye. Okay. Right? Take up So things like that we can do now as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, there you go. Awesome, what's your name? I'm Robert. Robert and Carissa, Carissa BK. Nice to meet you both. Yeah, nice Thank you for being here. Thank yeah. you for fighting for our city and country. Cheers. <clears throat> <clears throat> hello, sir. Hey. Hi, hello, ma'am. Uh, would you like to explain sort of what you're holding the sign for, what you're here for? Uh, no, we, sign should say it all. Sign should say it all. Yeah. True North, strong and free. Fair enough. Thank you for being here. All Cheers. Right. All right. How about you, mate? You right. seem proud and tall with the with the strong here, with the, the, the come, and take, come it and take it flag with an AK or AR uh, or AR-15. AR-15. There you go. Yep. So um, do you mind explaining why you're doing this, holding the flag? And, and what's what's your uh, first name? Just Robert. just Robert. Robert, thank you. And young lady. Mary. Mary. Yeah. Robert and Mary. Awesome. So, Mr. Robert, uh, why are you holding this sign? I like it, but why are you holding it? Well, why I'm holding the sign is is because of Trudeau and his undemocratic uh, OIC that uh, order in council that banned a bunch of firearms that should never have been banned in the first place. They're semi-automatic rifles. They're not assault rifles. This is all part of the uh, Trudeau plan to keep people out of work and on welfare and government handouts. Now they want to disarm us. Now they want to keep us poor with this, uh, with this COVID virus stuff. I'm not saying there's not a virus, but we can get people back to work. And for me, this is just part of Trudeau and his stuff that we have to put up with with him. And uh, it was very undemocratic what he did May 1st in banning these firearms. He, if he wanted to ban the firearms, fine. He should have went through Parliament. Right, Every, right. Not, not through OIC. Right. In you a, should have had a debate about this. A debate about it. Yeah. Let's have a debate. And if people decide, then fine. But doing it the way he did, no. Right. No, I think that was totally wrong. No, it's a dictatorship. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it's a dictatorship. I yeah. Really yeah, I'm with you. Awesome. Well, Mr. Robert, um, do you want to scratch down your email? We'll keep in touch about, about these issues. Sure, here you go. I'm doing that because, honestly, I think a lot of people out there don't know any better 
but if they see us getting along better, um, and we can also win the offline info war where protests are great to see numbers, yep. but handing out little flyers with websites like canadianshootingsports.org on it, you know, is something where you go, here, just take this, right? Yep. Yep. And I'm uh, yes, it's right here in the, in, the, in the sleeve of this. There's the marker there. Yeah. We did this to beat swine flu uh, but last time, where even if people were busy, the media made them interested. So we just gave them a tiny little piece of paper, like, for example, this. Uh, sorry, young lady. I'm, uh, I'm gloved. Uh, oops, no, that's not it. That's uh, Pax Constantinople, like the city Constantinople. Uh, oh, okay. Could you, could you, uh, hold on. I'll do right that for you. Yeah, no, it's okay. All I do with my job is See, th This is what we did last time. And we had a whole bunch of different kinds, but for people that, that, that were curious, because the media made them interested, but they didn't want to, uh, they didn't want to talk, we just gave them a little thing like this. See that? It's non-threatening. It's not like a huge thing, and we're not getting in their face. We're not arguing with them. So um, stuff like that can work, and if we drop those off and hand those out and let everybody where we live kind of know what's going on, they can at least think for themselves. So that's part of part of what my goal is, is to help us win the, not just the online info war, where we often talk to like minds. I'm on your Twitter list on this. Iron sharpens iron, which is great in the sense of us kind of communicating with each other and, 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 and so on. But then we can parse some of that information and say, look, here's a little thing like that, just so that you're not threatened by it. Like if you, with your hunting hunting shirt on and your flag, you might be like, oh no, it's like, well, just take this and look up for yourself. I yep. totally agree. So, and we are non-threatening. We're law-abiding firearms owners. Right. I've been shooting for 30 years. Right. I, I hunt, I target shoot, I, I follow the rules. Right. And this is so unfair to have people's, can you imagine, to have the government threaten you that we're going to take away your firearms, that if you don't give them to us, we're going to jail you. Right. And they're letting these guys out of jail. It's, it's insane. Moment. It's insane. And you got Trudeau now saying he's thinking about a forced vaccination. Yeah. It's not right. That is not right. No, it makes me really sick. That's, this is our first time down here, and this, we, we wanted to come down. Right. We saw the first two protests, and we uh, talked to Peter Salemi. Peter Salemi. Salemi, yeah. yes. We got into his Facebook, and he said, come on down. And my wife said, yeah, there is a virus. Sure. But is it such that we're going to get into an economic depression? Right. You're going to kill a lot more people with a depression than a, than a virus. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you, uh, Robert. Thanks. Right? Yeah. Yep. Right. BK. Nice BK. to meet you. Nice yep. to meet you, BK. And, uh, and let me let me just double check this email so I have it uh, down here, because yep. um, I figure if people are serious enough to, uh, to to come out here, they might be serious enough to do other stuff as well. That's uh, Pax Constantinople, Constantinople. at gmail.com. All right. The yeah, Constantinople, like the old city of Constantinople. I got you, Pax Constantinople. Okay. I think that's uh, that's mostly recorded to memory. Uh, nice to meet you, sir. Nice you, to meet sir. you, man. Uh, Cheers. Nice I think I might have heard your voice on uh, AM 900 this morning. Excuse me. Uh, all right. Hello, ladies. Do you want to talk about why you're holding signs and making a racket? All right. What, what, what's your first name? Uh, I'm sorry? Aline? Okay. Thank you, Aline. Um, so you're saying freedom is essential. Uh, explain to people sort of why you're taking the time to do this. What do you mean? It's, it is not normal for us to be in our houses locked, locked away. I'm not saying virus does not exist. Right. I'm not saying people are not dying. Right. But the statistics and data are not no longer supporting the lockdown. Right. So people are losing their. They are, they are making many changes in different legislations which take away our rights, and I think this is totally wrong. You know, while while we are locked away, they are raising 5G towers, which I hear is not good for our health as well. There are many things which are going on, which are wrong, but my main concern why it's freedom is essential because we should be outside. Humans are social beings. It's not normal for our children to be locked away in a house, away from their friends, away from schools. We have a right to education. We have a right to, you know, free speech, to socializing. We should have a free life. And the main, the main concern is the data. There is no data or statistics to support this lockdown. The data we have now is on par with the seasonal flu. Um, so why we are still up? I understand. We've had a couple of months of this now, and it's like, okay, and it's people, not nearly people, as bad. People are losing jobs. We have to have food on our table. Right. We need to pay our mortgages. You know, everyone has lots of debts, and our nation will be deep in debt if we will not stop this as soon as possible. I understand. 
I understand. Thank you, Ms. Elite, and thanks for saying. Uh, would you like to Would you like to share your email? I'm emailing a bunch of people about what we can do about this, not just in protest, but also offline, reaching out to other people. Okay, don't worry about it. No, no, no problem. Listen, uh, it was lovely meeting you. I don't want to bother anybody, but people want to do something about this, and so as all the people are trying to figure out who wants to do what, that's all we're doing. I am, I am sharing information that I know with my friends, right? You know, and with people I know, and honest, I think they should open up the country as soon as possible before we hit a really deep recession, which will take years to go back to normal. There I got shouldn't you. be there shouldn't be new normal. There is no no such thing as new normal. It's either normal. Right. What is happening is abnormal. This is abnormal. Yeah. We didn't vote on this. There's no scientific no. basis for this. We shouldn't listen to the World Government Health Organization. I totally agree. Thank you, Ms. Aline, for your contributions. I think if, if, if everybody out there kind of sees that we're not crazy, we're not wrong, no. and we make more sense than a lot of the people in the media do, then I think we can convince them because that's how we were convinced. Yeah. Right? I mean, we obviously grew up on TV. But then after that, we learned more, and we were like, okay, people are beating this. People are making more sense. So there you go. Awesome. How about you, young lady? Any any thoughts? I think she was quite in depth, so I, I sign under every word that she said. Okay, awesome. Uh, Thank you, ladies, for being here. Thank Great. You. Nice to meet a couple of uh, courageous, uh, polite, patriotic Canadian girls. Look at that. Flu who? Flu season is over. Who sent this virus? Good call. Let's see the other side. I didn't make the sign. But uh, if I had to make mine, all of my own, yeah, uh, COVID I think was it would be about charter rights, yeah, freedoms, which is the most important. This, this is my major concern right now. Awesome, awesome. What's your name? My name is Vera. Vera, okay, yes. BK. Aline, Vera, lovely to meet you, girls. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Cheers. Bye. <clears throat> all right. Let's see.